Hello, boys and girls. This is Miss Donna, your art teacher. I haven't seen you for a while, but I'm very glad to be back with you. In fact, today's video is going to be just for Miss Cheryl's class, the virtual class. So I want to say hello to Pablo and Finn, Anders and Benjamin, Freya and Connor, Sai and Arleth, Ava, Caden, and Victor. All right, I, I hope I got everyone's name on the this list. If I didn't, I'm very sorry, but hello to you. Hello to all of you. I have been going to Casa Asafran, the school, where there are three classes that are meeting in person. So I've been able to work with them, but this video that I'm making today is just for you. Now the um, art supplies you need for this video were put together and everyone should have their own bag full of art supplies. And if you haven't had a chance to pick that up from the school, they are at the school waiting for you. So in that bag, you will find uh, a piece of brown paper, just like this, but on the back there is a leaf that's drawn. You will also find, excuse me, I'm going to reach a piece of black paper, just blank black paper. You will also have a uh, paintbrush in, your, in that little uh, bag that I put together. You will also have some containers of paint. You will have orange and green. And you will have red and yellow. And that's all. That's all you need in your bag. But what you have to find around your house and outside are some leaves maybe three or four leaves. You will need to have a glass or a jar of water. You will also need some glue. And you will also need your scissors, okay? Not big ones, but your own scissors, okay? So let me show you how we're gonna do this. All right, boys and girls, you're going to be using your paintbrush and all of these beautiful fall colors to paint some leaves. So let's do this together. Now, another thing you might wanna have close by is a paper towel because you might get paint on your fingers. And well, that's what you can use it for. Or if you have uh, an old t-shirt which you could wear over your clothes to keep your clothes clean. And if you use, if you have one of those and you're wearing it, if you get paint on your fingers, you just wipe it on your art shirt. That's not hard, is it? We can wipe it on our art shirt. Now, let's talk about our paint first and our paintbrush and our water. Now, boys and girls, you have one brush and four colors of paint. I don't know if you can see them. Four colors. One brush and four colors. So if I want to start with the orange, I put my brush in the orange paint, just like this, and I do my painting, but now I want to change colors. But I've got orange paint on here. So what can I do? See, Miss Donna's already got paint on her fingers, because that's what I do. We put it in the water to clean our brush to get the color, the orange, off of our paintbrush. So we're going to tap, tap, tap. We're not going to smash. We're going to tap, 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 tap the bottom and do this a little bit, and then we're going to check it. And then we can take our fingers and we can squeeze the extra water out, okay? All right. Let's begin. All right, boys and girls, you are going to take your brown paper, the one with the leaf on the back, 
This is the back of the paper, not the front. So you're gonna do the other side, okay? So then you're gonna pick up a leaf. Now I've got lots of different leaves. I've got a, this big kind of heart-shaped leaf. I've got a beautiful smaller leaf. I've got this one. I've got this one and I've got this one. Now you don't have to have that many. If you have about three or four, that's fine because you can use them more than once for sure. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to paint the leaves and make a stamp so that our paper looks like this when we're done. Let's take a look at it and see if you can see the leaf shapes on it. Yes, all right, this is all dry. Okay, let's start with Ooh, let's start with this one. Okay, now boys and girls, you may not be able to see uh, me painting this that well because I'm not using a board this time, but I am, I'll hold it up as I go, okay? So I think I'll start with some orange. And I'm going to put it flat and I'm going to put orange paint on here kind of nice and heavy. Now what am I gonna do, because I'm gonna change colors, what am I going to do? I'm going to clean my brush, super important. So tap, 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 swirl, swirl, swirl. I'm gonna squeeze out all the extra water. Now I'm going to use a little bit of red on my leaf. Put that down flat. You might want to put a something underneath your leaf um, on the, the table or wherever you're working just to collect the extra paint that comes off the leaf on the edges so that it's not getting on your table. You can use a paper towel for that or whatever. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint the rest of it red so it looks like that. Now yours doesn't have to look like this. This is how mine looks. But I'm going to use one more color, but I need to clean my brush, right? Okay, so tap, 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 tap. Makes a pretty color in there, doesn't it? Tap, 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 swirl, 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 and I squeeze it. Now I'm going to put just a little bit of yellow on top. Let's see what happens. Just a little bit, you know? How about that? And let's see what happens. I'm gonna put my brush down and I'm going to lay this right on top of my paper. And I'm gonna very gently go over the edges, kind of smooth it down, just like that. Ooh, let's see how this looks. I'm kind of excited. Now, boys and girls, I have more on here, more paint on here, so I'm going to use it up. All right, I'm going to do it this way to get all the paint off of there. Ooh, pretty. Now, boys and girls, yours won't drip like this because you're not going to be holding your paper up like I just did. All right, yours is going to be flat. Okay, I'm going to put my paper down. Now I'm going to clean. I'm going to, I've got yellow on my brush, so I'm just going to use it up. Let's see, let's do something different. I'm going to use this one, okay? I'm gonna move this paper over a little bit. And I'm just gonna put yellow all over this because, you know, why not just use one color? You don't have to use all the paint colors on each leaf. All right, look at that. What do you think? There we go. I'm gonna pick this up again. Lay it on here. Tap, 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 tap. Mm-hmm. That's okay. This is art. We get our fingers dirty. I'm going to take off this. <gasps> I am going to wipe my hands off. And look at my leaf. Isn't that beautiful? That is just beautiful. All right, let's do another color. All right, I'm gonna clean my brush now, again. Tap, 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 tap. Clean, 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 now. 
I'm going to squeeze all that water. Boys and girls, if your water gets dirty, it gets, it turns such a color that you don't feel like your brush is getting clean, you can just take it to the sink, dump it out, and get some clean water. Not a problem. Okay, let's try this pretty little leaf here, okay? Now, I'm gonna use some green. Okay, I'm gonna use some green. Put my brush in there and it's clean. And I'm going to put it on the leaf. Put my brush down so it looks like this. And now I'm going to Lay it right on top. Tap, 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 tap. All right. Let's take it off and see what it looks like. How pretty is that? And since I've got plenty of paint on there, I'm going to do it in another spot. Tap, 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 tap. We're being very gentle with the leaves because you know they're kind of fragile, which means they, which means we have to be gentle with them because they might tear. Okay, all right, here we go. Let's take that off and see how it looks. Well, <gasps> beautiful! Oh my goodness! All right, let's do one more leaf now, boys and girls. Your paper is going to need leaf stamps. You can do the whole thing, all the way to the edges ever, but you have to at least get it right in the middle because there is a leaf on the back that we're gonna cut out, okay? All right, let's try one more. Let's try this one, okay? Now, I'm going to clean my brush. Tap, 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 swirl, swirl, swirl. And I'm gonna squeeze my water out, wipe off my hands, and now, let's see, what color should we use? Let's start with orange, okay? Let's start with orange. Here we go. Can you see it a little bit? All right, I'm just gonna put orange over the whole thing. Pretty, pretty orange these are our fall colors. All right, this is what it looks like. But I'm also going to add a little bit more yellow because I just love yellow. So I'm gonna clean my brush real good. Squeeze it. Put my brush in the yellow and just add some lines to it just like that. What do you think? All right, so now I'm gonna take my paper and I'm going to lay it here. And I'm gonna smooth it out. So it looks just like this. You see here it is down here. And let's take it off and see what it looks like. Ta-da! How pretty is that, boys and girls? I've got a little bit of paint on there, so I'm gonna use it up, and I'm going to lay it right here. Try it again. There we go. Now, boys and girls, that's all we're going to do today with this. Um, but you you understand what we did, right? Because we we uh, painted our leaves and we cleaned our brush in between each color so that we could keep our colors clean. Very very important. All right, I'm gonna clean my hands. Now the next thing is you're going to put this somewhere where it's nice and dry, where it can sit and just dry. And it takes a little while. It doesn't take doesn't take a long, long time, but let's, we need to let it sit and kind of leave it alone and just let it dry on its own, okay? All right, so I'm gonna do this. Now, 
we're going to pretend like we've let our um, our picture dry, and it's all dry. It's the next day, and this is what it'll look like. This, this is the one I showed you before. It's all nice and dry. See? Yeah. Now, all nice and dry. Now, the next thing you'll do is you'll turn it over. Now, this is a different leaf, and there are different, there's a, a different kind of leaf on every paper, so every, not everyone has the same leaf, okay? So, you see a black outline of a leaf. This is what you're going to do next, and I would like you to do this on your own, or just do the best you can. Of course, your helper, whoever's sitting with you, they can help you with it, but, you know, it's important that we practice our cutting, right? Right? Okay. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our scissors and we're going to cut on the black line. So take your time. Don't try to go too fast. Doesn't have to be perfect. You know that, right? You just do your best. Cut right on the black line. All right, I'm gonna do this a little fast because I want to be able to show you what to do next. But when you're doing it, take your time because if you're in a hurry, you know what happens. We end up making mistakes if we go too fast. All right, here's my leaf. Beautiful, beautiful leaf. Now, this is where you're gonna need your black paper. So you're gonna take your black paper and you're going to lay this right on top, just like this, okay? Now, you also need your glue. So if you have this glue or this glue, you can use either one, okay? Um, actually, I like this glue better because it it's strong and it holds it down. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna turn this over to the back, just like this. And I'm just going to put, let it get some. Well, when it comes out, I will. La, 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 la. There it is. All right. Maybe not. Well, boys and girls. Okay, here we go. I'm just putting a little bit of glue, I'm sorry, around the edges, dot, 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 dot. Just around the edges. I'm not putting it in the middle because we don't really need it in the middle. We really only need it on the edges because we want those edges to lay down nice and flat. Boys and girls, this glue is really the best kind and it's the kind that I always use because, like I said, it's just stronger. So if you've got this kind, try using it, okay? But you're only gonna put little dots on it around the edges, and then you can take your glue, the tip of it, and just kinda of connect those dots, okay? If we get too much on there, well, all it does is make a big old mess. And sometimes it can ruin what we've done. We don't want that, of course. So now I'm going to take my, my leaf and I'm going to try to get it on the black paper nice and even so all the parts of the leaf are on, excuse me, on the paper. How about that? Now, here's another thing you can do when you're all finished. You can take your leaves, if you want to get everything back out again, it's up to you, but you can take your leaves and you can, uh, let's use the little one, you can add a few more because on my leaf, I see some parts that could use a little more color. For example, I still see some of the brown paper here, so I'm going to just do this. I put a leaf on there and take it off. And you know what else? It's okay that it gets on the black paper. It's absolutely okay. Okay? You don't have to do that next part. It's just if you want to. If you think it needs more color, just put it right on there. All right. 
So boys and girls, good job today. Thank you for listening and making a beautiful leaf. And I want you to save this and put your name on the back with a pencil. And pencil does show up on black paper, so don't worry about that. And I think that's all for now.